Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd do an updated my tattoos in depth video because I've gotten a, quite a bunch of new tattoos since the last time I did a video like this and that was when I did it with my boyfriend. Uh, link to that in the description if you want to check his tattoos out because I don't think he has got... No, he's got in his back thumb. Whatever. This video is not about him. Um, I got in a few new ones and I thought I'd share with you guys what I've gotten and basically do an updated all my tattoos video. So I hope you like it and let's get started. So the first two tattoos I got were on my thighs, the ship and the lighthouse. And these two are based on the lyrics to If My Heart Was a House by Owl City. Eagle on my arm, which is has the lyrics on it from an Ask Me Alexandria song called Run Free, and the lyrics say, Let your heart soar with the eagle. And it's just one of my favorite songs, and it kind of has a rise above message to it, meaning behind it. Um, just let your heart soar with the eagles, just rise above all the crap that's down here and just like... And for those of you who wonder, no I do not still listen to Asking Alexandria since Danny quit. Danny was the main reason I listened to them. I love Danny, and I love Danny's voice, I love everything that he does and I love Harlot. I love Danny's new solo stuff, I've only heard I got bones, but I just love everything he does and I don't give a shit about the new guy <laughs> in asking I don't even know who that is I don't like their new stuff they've gone back to stand up and scream basically and I've kind of grown out of that phase so no I did not still listen to them the next thing I got was this Mick Mars portrait and it's kind of self-explanatory it's Mick Mars Motley Crue guitarist and uh, He's just an uh, awesome guy, and Motley Crue is my all-time favorite band, and Mick is my favorite member of the band, and in November I got to meet him and show him the tattoo, and that was the most insane thing that ever happened to me, ever. I made a whole video on that, meeting him and stuff, so link in the description if you want to check that video out and hear all about how it happened. Now I'm kind of losing track of what I got next. I think I started my Game of Thrones arm next. Um, that's my whole sleeve, and and this sleeve is the seven gods in Game of Thrones, and the seven gods are, let's see if I know them, uh, Smith, Warrior, Father, Mother, Maiden, Crone, and Stranger. And I have not gotten Mother or Warrior yet, so those are the two that's missing from my arm, and then a bunch of filler stuff that I haven't gotten yet. I do not watch the series, I read the books. Once I've read all the books, I will watch the series, of course, so you don't have to ask. And to be honest, we still have not come up with any kind of a design to symbolize Mother, because Mother symbolizes mercy in this Game of Thrones like in the seven gods, the mother is mercy, and mercy is always portrayed with two like hands praying or something like that, and I do not want anything religious on my body at all. Why are my lashes just gluing together all the time? So if you guys have any idea how to portray mother without doing the hands of mercy and without doing just like a girl, because I already have a girl, I want to do something else symbolizing mother, it's so difficult to come up with. So comment below if you can think of something that's awesome that symbolizes a mother. And maybe not like someone holding a baby or something like that. It's like, I want something symbolic. I don't know, just uh, comment below if you can think of anything. And the next thing I got was my chest tattoo. <laughs> this, I it does not have a meaning per se. Uh, I got it because I thought it was beautiful. Basically, I told my artist that I want a head, I want a stag beetle, I want flowers and some kind of insects. I want it to be girly and pretty, but I still want it to be kind of gross and cool, like with the insects and stuff. Definitely no butterflies, I said as well. So that's what we did. She created this for me. It was amazing. I love it still. It's fabulous. Next, we're moving on to my rascal tattoo on my arm. It is a little uh, raccoon with a little party hat and he's eating a little apple and he's like a little rascal and it's super cute. I got it 
basically it was inspired by Sonny and I talking about rascals all the time and we were joking about rascals and calling each other rascals. It's just, uh, it's a tattoo from our, like inspired by us. Next I got my first tattoo done by my friend Ellen and she did my stomach and that hurt as hell. Um, it's a cat cranium with some flowers around it. I love cats. My name is almost cat. I'm a, I'm a cat person. And I think I do want to add to the stomach. I think I want to add leaves and like green stuff that kind of goes out on my ribs. I would love to do that. Of course, Ellen is going to do it for me, hopefully, if she wants to. <laughs> um, but I think it's missing leaves. So that I really want to do. I mean, I'm scared of doing it because of the pain, because I never want to live that pain again. But I will do it one day. <laughs> I will. At some point to do it, yes. The next thing I got was also by Ellen and that was for my birthday, my birthday tattoos. And she drew up and tattooed two beetles for me. They're two different kind of beetles and they're the ones on my legs. And I really, 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 really like them. There's not much to say about the beetles. I mean, I have a stag beetle on my throat. I have a stag beetle on my leg. And I just like how beetles look and I really, I'm really happy with them. And they don't really mean anything. I just think they look really cool. And last but not least, we have my flowers that were the latest tattoos I did a few months ago, two months ago. Um, and I really love these. They're filler flowers for my arm and elbow. And I think they're so pretty. I love the orange color. I, it's just the perfect color. So those are all the tattoos I have right now. And of course, I will keep you guys posted on what changes and what, what is added to my collection. Swedish word of the day is leaf. Swedish word for leaf is love, which is kind of like lion in German. Love. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to my social media to keep up to date on everything that I do. Until next time, have a super duper good one, guys. I'll see you later. Goodbye.